We, we unlocked the uh, international premiere, so we're doing oh, one. Really, really excited. Yeah. And wow. then we, we announced our next stretch goal at 1.625, wow. which is the uh, TV and film podcast. So we should have a stretch goal at 1.65. What's that? Because that'll be a million dollars more than our original goal. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that's short for it. No, nope. sure no bad idea. Shut I up. Don't to, say that I just that have to come loud. up with what that's going to be. So, but the there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of uh one point nine. One point nine five is three hundred percent of our initial goal. That's really crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. And that's also where Blue Mountain State is. So like our next like move up in the overall rankings of you know, most oh, funded crowd funded films. Of all time. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. uh we'll be we moving to fourth, right? Or is we would go to fourth, yeah. Yeah. And then two point two is three and then Zach Braff's after that. I don't think we're going to And Blue that. Mountain State is Broken Lizard, right? No. Bl- Blue, Mo- Blue Mountain State is a TV show that was on Spike, and the dude who's directing it is Jay... Chan Jesh- Chan Jesh- 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 that dude from Broken Lizard. Lizard. Oh, yeah, he's I directing thought, it. I thought the whole thing was Broken Lizard. It's just him? Unless I'm mistaken, I don't believe it is. Huh? I, I, and maybe there's a Blue Mountain State fan here. Barb, you're still on Twitter? Um, yeah, maybe a Blue Mountain State can tell me. That looks like a lot of fun, that series. Yeah, well, I mean, I was just going to say that, you know... Broken Lizard was, um, you know, an inspiration for us in the early days of Rooster Teeth. Big inspiration. It's a group of, good group of guys. Good, doing cool group of guys comedy. just doing cool stuff, you know? Yeah. Cool guys. Fun, you know? They're really cool. To, I mean, uh, there's a QA, and a I think, once at South By, and they, they'll stick around forever, you know, just to talk to people. Yeah. Because a lot of the people that come up to them are, you know, comedy troops and stuff like that right. and they just want to they want to know like what's the writing process what's you know what do you do and this and that and they'll just they'll talk and talk and talk to you and i think that's really <laughs> that's really cool yeah the thing that i've always thought that's been cool about them is that you know they've managed to well a they're, they're still making movies together mm-hmm. after years but i mean they're they're able to make relatively modest budget films that get their money back mm-hmm. which allows them to keep making more stuff yeah um, you know, and they're not setting the world on fire with like hundred million other blockbusters, but they're doing well enough. So that they, they can, can make the kind stuff. of movies that they want to make, then that's yeah. that's great. Yeah, no, it's it's really inspiring. So I'm inspired just by what you said. Well, thank you. I, I'm. I excited. would volunteer to have my my chest waxed, but I don't have much chest hair, so. That's I'd have my chest waxed, but I have a lot of chest hair, and it'd be painful. That would, that would hurt. And that's like Chris doesn't have anything. So he's fine. We well, he had Chester, right? He had Chester. And I rip out Chester every two or three years because it'll grow. It takes a good two years for it to get to, like, you know, rippable length. But ever since I first met him, since I was 18, whenever, you know, like summer comes around or something like that, just you see it, and you wait till he's turned, and then you rip it out. And then it bleeds. <laughs> and it bleeds and bleeds and bleeds. And then you, know, you got to wait another couple of years. So you're, you're a good friend. It's yeah. Yeah. We're summing up. I think that's why he has three chest hairs now, because as you rip them out, like <laughs> Chester doesn't grow back in the same place every time; just kind of like moves a half inch over or something like that. So it's well, that's kind of creepy. Like I it know has how a I life feel about of its that. Own. I mean, it, aren't follicles? Don't they stay in the same place? It's a follicle. Yeah. Don't ruin yeah, my I'm, explanation. I'm pretty sure the follicles. Maybe maybe his nipples moved, <laughs> and true. so it's just relative. Where do you saw? It's like tectonic plates. You can't see it moving. People get asking where the Stranger Hood season two goal is. Oh my god. <laughs> Eight million. Uh, I hope, yeah, I hope you said it at eight million. <laughs> you know, well, wait, wait, wait. Why do I care? Ray's directing, re- directing it. Yeah, Ray is directing it. I was really looking forward to that. So how many so different, proud of you, Ray. different versions of each character did you have to have when you were shooting? There was like three or four different emotional states. I don't states. think he wants to talk about it. I blocked all of it. <laughs> in my I really don't think he wants to talk about it. <laughs> you know what it was like? I think I've, I've talked about this before, but making a narrative with that game and for anybody who's done it I think you'll agree is it was like having documentary footage that you just had to reform into a narrative yeah you know where there was like you had no control over what they were going to do I mean you thought you did because you you know because the video game the video game you give them actions but then they would just do whatever the hell they wanted right and then you had to just like well I got this what can I do with it you know, and just kind of figure it out. We were shooting in something in Gus's office the other day, and we were trying to do it like so, like run and gun, <laughs> that Gus had a conference call, and we were like, well, we only had like four or five lines left. So we were all, we were rolling, we we're all sitting there watching Gus, and he'd be like, 
Yeah, so uh, you know we can do that. We do load out on Tuesday and get your stuff in there, and you'll be all set. Uh huh. And then as soon as he started listening, we would then talk and say our lines to each other, and then Gus would start, you know, and whatever. So we were like wow. shooting around Gus's conference call. That was easier than doing some stuff in the Strangerhood. Yeah. Strangerhood was like you'd line everybody up and you'd say action, and everybody would go like this, and one guy would just go. I'm hungry. <laughs> he would like walk away. Or just piss himself. <laughs> so it was like so directing like, oh, kids. Into that scene. Yeah, I'm out of here. Pretty much. I gotta go urinate all over myself. What is my character? Is my character a commando? Yeah. All right. What are you guys playing now? Uh, He's playing Borderlands. I was still playing Final Fantasy. Oh. So yeah. I just started getting nervous and tense. You and just I was started like, getting nervous? Well, I just started. I had this feeling just started bubbling up. I'm like, I feel tense, and I just realized what it is. I'm sitting here. Brian's sitting here. Yeah, we're not getting that the video means no done. No one's working on the bare naked ladies video at the oh, moment. Oh, really? Does one of you guys need to go? So we should probably yeah, go back I and should work on probably. it. Yeah, I should probably. We we keep getting emails asking when it's going to be done. Yeah. And so we should be diligent and. Uh, so you both ducking on us, or what are you guys going to duck out on us? Where where are you? How much do you have left? Um, I've got <laughs> probably. I've got at least four shots left, I think, because I've got the. Main shot, and then <laughs> yeah. like you're talking about. <laughs> I like Reverend Mutant. Please, please, I gotta hear the rest of this. Go ahead, go ahead, please. Anyway, so I've got that shot that you guys will all see and realize how painful it was, and uh, and then I think I'm getting close, but I, we should probably get back to it. Yeah. Well, guys, thank right. you for joining us. Thanks, Brian. everybody, for donating. I, I can't tell you how excited I am that we're making this no, movie. No, we'll come hey, back when we're rendering. We'll come back when we're Real quick, yeah. uh, Brian, just real quick, just tell us, are you going to come back? Okay, we'll talk about We'll talk about some of the stuff you've worked on before, too, because okay. Rashid is definitely not your first job. Cool. I will be cool. back, you guys. All right. Later. Are you leaving us too, man? I'm, I'm going to leave. i got to go get some more stuff done. Well, I'd like to send somebody else in. I'm going to send somebody else in. Yes. What? I feel like the couch is so empty now. Sure, Barb can rejoin us, or I'll, I'll, head, I'll, head, I'll head back over to the couch and I'll, I'll take some okay. questions from uh, the audience. I can leave my board, be borderlands I'll be back. here. I'm gonna be close by. Oh, great! QR codes work. Woohoo! Have you told everybody about that? Kinda, yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, Bernie. Maybe, maybe we can find some games. I'm gonna get on the couch for a minute, take some questions, and then maybe we can find some. Uh, Suggestions for games that we can play. Patrick has my audio from like here. Like computer okay? games or what? Computer games or yeah. car games? Computer games. I like the way you said it. You, you want to play? Uh... Who's coming on next? <laughs> We're gonna get on our computer game. No idea. Play. Huh? Who's scheduled next to come on? Let's see. It's three fifteen. Yeah. I don't know. I think Kyle is eventually showing up. I don't know. Patrick yeah. Rodriguez. Meow. 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 <laughs> All right, guys, I'm trying to get out here. Good. For some reason, I can't load Twitter, but it'll load in a second here. And I'll take some questions to the Everything hashtag laser team. Everything sounds melodious when it's meows. This is not, this is not. I'm so loud, so let's try it out. I love it. I'm going to go get some more coffee. Meow. Slenderman, I don't want to play Slenderman, but thank you very much. Meow. How do we feel about the new Mass Effect? Did they announce a new Mass Effect? Oh, they teased meow. the new Mass Effect. Yeah. But it was basically meow. the same thing they've yeah. said all along, like, meow. Hey, we're gonna make another one, and it's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be in some different places, but we're not gonna tell you anything about it. So basically, it was a waste of everyone's time at the EA conference. Okay, That's fair enough. That's how I feel about that. Wow. People asking about my hat. Uh, I've got a number of questions about my hat today. My hat was actually given to me by Matt. It's uh, he got it in Hawaii, and that's why it has Hawaii on the right here. You got it from how old is that hat? I don't know. A month. Oh, it's. I feel like you. Is it just a different hat that you wear all the time? No. I had, a, I had a blue hat that was a rooster, a Sydney's rooster's hat. It's a rugby club in uh, Sydney. And I, but that was given to me by somebody I know who uh, works and lives in Sydney. That th is that the hat you're thinking of? I guess. Okay. Wasn't that interesting? Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> Tell me more it. about your hats. Uh, play Watch Dogs. I don't think we have a one over here. And I don't, I don't have uh, Watch Dogs on 360. I'm not even sure if it's available on 360. Yeah. I've been playing any, any game I can on a one I... We talked about Monopoly earlier. Did you just, uh, unhook something from this one? Because it's not showing up anymore on the monitor. Uh, it did that to me earlier, and then just turn on the. You got to turn on the power for the monitor. Oh. It's a little blue button, on the left hand side. Guys. 
That one has the award. Is that does that case move very much? Is that award in danger? What's that? Sorry. That award is that the is that the. No, it's fine. <laughs> I think it's totally fine. What was that song it was playing? I don't know. No, that's not good. I'll Man, this, this stream is going so fast. I'm just trying to read everything here. Left 4 Dead 2 on the Xbox. I would actually love to play that. I'm, I'm a big Left 4 Dead fan, but I feel like every time I've ever done a Let's Play, it's always been some variation on Left 4 Dead in some way. Are you talking about like a first person kill them all shooting thing? I'm talking about Left 4 Dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought you meant like, like a Left 4 Dead thing. Oh, no, no. It's like every time we've done it, it's been like Left 4 Dead or a mod of Left 4 Dead or something like that. I just like that so much. Man, lots of questions about semantics of stuff. Hope we get all the stuff. Uh, people want to know if uh, anyone from Achievement Hunter is going to show up. I have no idea. <laughs> not, if they could, they might not. It's not. It's Saturday, so probably unlikely. Well, Michael and Lindsay are still in Australia. Yep. Ray, I think, is out of town as well for some event. Gavin and Meg said they might show up a little bit later. But I don't know if they are or not. And then Jack and Katie, I know, are in the middle of moving, so they might be busy. Two spookies coming later, but that's not Achievement Hunter. Just... No, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> Saying other people who are coming, maybe, eventually. Possible. Possibly. That would be Carrie and Miles and some other peeps. Dude, I would love to play Fashion and Light, but man, Fashion and Light is tough. Why not play some Flock? That's actually not a bad idea. Hey, Ash, you want to play some Flock with me? We should subject other people to playing it. Your phone just buzzed. Mm. I thought you were gonna play a frustrating game later. That's flock. Is it flock? Yeah. All right. Not too many questions. It's just a lot of like play this or play that. All right. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna get online and play some Halo. I'm alone. On the couch. You should look at my character in Battle Block because it's so swag. What, what do you got? Look at look at my heart sunglasses. You gonna cut to Barb's thing? Or are you just gonna? It's all for me. Oh, Patrick, do we have Barb's uh, Xbox? The air conditioning does point right, right here. Someone was being air in like one of your French cows. Dude, hey, check um, out how swag I am. Thank you. I got a little peanut butter pretzel. Can I just say that the new Office coffee machine is really fabulous? Mm-hmm. And that at some point I should probably stop drinking coffee. The old office coffee machine was not very good. Nope. Oh, this can be yours. This is what happens when I get really excited. What's what's the stretch goal to give away Aaron? You want to cut to my camera for a sec? You can't Patrick. Give this away for free. I mean my um, uh, screen. Hey Check Ash, what do you what do you point over there? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> is that just battle block where you can kill yourself? You can kill yourself, yeah. All right. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna dump my old Xbox here and just get my profile on the other one that was here before. This thing is just being a t complete and total bitch about staying on Xbox. You know what would be really handy is if you had things like cloud saves. What do you mean? Because you use cloud saves, I'm just saying that it's really easy to switch from one box to another. Oh yeah, no, I mean I can switch. It's just like you know, if I. Be, it's the curse of you know having all digital stuff is that. When I go to play a game, like if I wanted to play Borderlands, it would take me about half an hour to download all the packs that I need to play my game. Well, yeah, I just I had to do I that. I can't play Mass Effect today because I got to download like eight different DLC packs to even continue my save. And some of those things are like four gigs uh, to bring them down. Yeah. Huge, huge yeah. pain in the butt. Yeah. Huge yeah, pain in the butt. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I can see her in the monitor, like, being sneaky. <laughs> and then I know something no good is going to happen. Something very good is going to happen, actually. All right, so I'm going to get online, uh, and I'm going to... What's a playlist that I could play that wouldn't have a lot of people in it right now? Um, what? How's, how, how popular is Halo 4 these days? You should play... Uh, what's that mode in Halo 4? Griffball? No. <laughs> I'm familiar with Griffball. The one where you're a zombie. Zombies? Yeah, zombie. No. Infection. No. <laughs> I'm going to play Griff Ball. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to get on. I got to download my profile. And while I download my profile, I'm going to run over to the Achievement Hunter office to grab their copies of Halo 4, which will make them complain at me on Monday because I took one of the copies of their games. Mm. And then we'll see from there. Uh, uh, um. I'd be curious to know what people think about the. Uh, if anyone listened to the. 
uh, Game Kids one that we did this week. I'd be curious to know what people think about that. About the concept or about Star Control? Uh, about the concept of Game Kids in general. Just like, you know, more family-friendly stuff where, you know, oop, kids playing games. Let me... Uh, getting hypnotized right now because I'm like lounging on the couch and watching this monitor TV. It's like, yeah, I'm just watching TV? TV, but you're right there. Great. But Profile's I'm downloading. I'll be right back. Roger that, Captain. Thomas, do you have Halo 4, Ash? Uh, nope. Eh. Where's the champagne? It's empty. It's out. It, For no that, reason. That we finished, like, we, hours def ago. we definitely did not drink it all ourselves. Just putting it out there. Hmm. It doesn't do not. I guess I'll have a piece of gum. <laughs> we definitely did. <laughs> Don't let the fuck! <laughs> <sighs> Welcome your, to the stream. Your, your cat's purring. The cat just purred, and it's on my lap, you know so it I made mean. it even more creepy. Can I have the cat thing? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Who do you think you are? Yeah, this that's, is my cat. That's terrible. Jesus, what, what even made you think that you could do that? How dare you? Eat me, bird. What? The bird has to eat me and shit me out to like throw me across the board. <laughs> okay. Cat. Dude, it's battle block. Fuck you, cat. <laughs> so, so what's, what's this game the called time? again? Something blocks? Battle block theater. Battle block theater. Die. Oh, we both died. It's okay. It's a cute game. It just looks like it's just it's one of those games that's so frustrating and requires such over the top precision that I just can't. It ju it's just not fun. I think it's totally fun. No. Nah. Games where it's like to get through a level is going to take me like 15 deaths to figure out exactly what I need to do and then have to execute down to a pixel perfect. I just it's not my not my jam. But I can swing a sword that's taller than me all day long. What's up? Yeah. Just like this. Fuck. Yeah. I want more gems. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. How's it going, blockhead? I'm looking. See, it's funny because your head's square. <laughs> Dude, I look so swag. <laughs> Check out With your glasses. heart sunglasses? Yeah. Well, let's hope they survive the the bl razor blades. Ruh, 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 razor blades, ruh, ruh, razor. <laughs> you really like that song. You're singing everything to the tune of that song today. I know. I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. I just came from over there. Hmm. What are you playing? I'm playing Final Fantasy. I've been playing Lightning Returns since February, last February. I don't even know. It's been a really long time. I just want to get through it. Not last February. It's also, definitely like this February or March something. It's only been a couple months, but it feels like a long time. I also realized that the game I was trying to remember was Flood. Flood? Yeah. Which which game? In uh in Halo? Oh. That game on? Where you're Flood? And you would I see. I lost this spell. Is this come, on the, come say hi. Why, why are you not coming on the stream, Blaine? Uh, we called you out, now you can't. I'm not. gonna come on later. Me and Chris are doing things. Yeah, that doesn't mean you can't be on now. Okay, well I'm here. Good. And now I'm gonna play you the cat piano. Yay! Uh, it's not meowing. There you go. Meow, 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 meow. Wait, wait, Terminator theme song. Meow, 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 meow. What is that? Fuck off, Hattie. Did you hear it? How the fuck? I was playing the Terminator theme song with Catman. You playing the Terminator theme song? Yeah, yeah. Blaine, what are you up to, man? Uh, we are rehearsing for a super secret project. So. You are rehearsing for a super secret project? Yes. What I know what this is? Yeah. Secret medieval project. Does it involve you doing oh. a lot of push ups? It actually does. I was on set doing. How oh, no. Fun. We know. We saw. 
What do you mean? How Pictures. Do you, oh, yeah. How do you get? You gotta stay in shape on set. You gotta, you know, get the sandbags. Gotta get pumped. Gotta get pumped. Gotta get the pump. All right, I will probably be on in a couple hours. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, see you soon. How? All right, so I'm gonna jump into Halo 4. I'm gonna see what's in the hopper right now. Um, it's probably might take me a second to get an, grab an update here. Uh, and then I'm gonna jump on a Halo, and if it's available, I'm gonna jump on a Grip Ball playlist. And if it's not available, I'll figure something else out from there. Hopefully I can maintain a connection long enough because I've switched I'm, my Xbox I'm here. I'm at a loss for how you fucking do this. What do you got? I got a slide. But I can't... I die in the water and I can't jump because of the spikes. What do you, why, why are you playing mm. Battle Block? Like, what's up with that? I love that game. I, just, I never knew you played These this game so at all. angry. I, no, I'm just surpri I'm surprised. My, there was not anger. No, not was... you. Not you, Barbara. I, I oh. angry. Well, she just can't figure it out. Can you run fast enough to just go over one block? Can you just run? I'm here for you, Barb. That worked out pretty well. <laughs> years of playing this game. I mean, not years. Many days playing this game. All right, back on Twitter now. Gonna take a look for some <laughs> stuff. Who? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the game time that we did together, Barb, that was the first thing you said, and that was who? <laughs> <laughs> I make that noise a lot when I play games. I make this noise a lot. <laughs> I get really scowly at games. I know. Yeah, Barry talked about that on the podcast. Yeah, it's like oh, it's, like, it's like a murder Hold face. Hold on, I gotta go. T I gotta go check the the, live, the, the Twitter thing. What? What happened? The, the Indiegogo page. Oh. The, the Indiegogo page is having trouble removing perks. Like huh? one, like you mean like ones that are sold out? No, just like oh, this is not my laptop. This is Barb's. No, just like ones I'm t I told I tell it to remove the perk and it just doesn't do it. It tells me it does it, and then it doesn't do it. So we have two challenge coins comes up. It's, it's no issue, it's just that one is supposed to be limited and one is not. I see. Oop. And I need to make sure that they're both limited. Also, and I would love to hear from anybody for, we have four episodes of game time left. Uh, Josh will definitely be on one of them, because uh, I wanted to talk to Josh about uh, his history in the military as well, because Josh actually served in Iraq and Afghanistan, and uh, in very active duty. And I wanted to do a and with far less beard. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do a game time with him, and then uh, I have three more slots. So anyone you'd be curious to hear from, I'm trying to convince Doreen to do it. I think oh, she'd, she'd be great. Be great. Uh, yeah, but I don't think she'll do it though. She might not play, but she, I think she that she would be happy to be interviewed. And I think uh, you know, as important as Doreen is. To all of our productions here, I think most of the audience wouldn't know who she is yet. Nope, probably not. Probably she not. She was uh, the first. The first time I met Doreen, she was working on Gauntlet season two, and she was just like, she made that whole thing just like happen so smoothly. She is really so much more smoothly than really I thought was even possible. Job. Yeah. I've never like, I always felt really comfortable with her on set, and all just right. like knowing that she has everything handled. Where up oh, Griff Ball's there. So I'm gonna jump in the random Griff Ball. There's 467 people in the hopper. So there's a fairly good chance you should be able to grab a game with me. Okay. And it goes pretty fast. My nose ring's hanging out. Uh, there we go. I'll fix it. Random games on Griff Ball. <laughs> Are they limited Griff Ball down to six people now? What happened to my baby? Is it so 3v3 or what? 3v3, apparently so. Okay. Well, well, well. Might be just, uh, I just jumped in there, so waiting on some more pipples. Currently voting for the map. All right, let's see. What's about your this. favorite Griff Ball map? Oh, man, I like the original one that was on Foundry. Just the original. Oh, man, we're going to play four on two? That's not so cool. Hey, look, if you are outnumbered, that just means that there are more of them to hit. <laughs> no, I, I'm actually you? <laughs> I'm actually on the four team. So Do we need to take those away from you, Barbara? I'm no, we're pretty good. good. I'm pretty good. I'd also like to point out that you have not one but two mimosas. That's they're both unfair. not mine. <laughs> Challenge coin. One is left over from Gus. I thought you said he didn't drink his and it was over there. Maybe. <laughs> well, I'm confused, man. I th I wonder if somebody else had the page open. <laughs> Ugh. 
I mean, there's a horribly hell? grindy part of Final Fantasy where I'm just killing the same monsters over and over and over again. <laughs> so I'm sure that's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Also, you like my gigantic pink sword that's bigger than I am? No trouble to swing. No big deal. I got distracted by your screen and I looked at the time when the bridge was disappearing. Oh no. It was not a pretty sight. Fuck it, peek. Remember there's that, um, there's that, uh, show where the, the uh, like, that guy actually, like, recreates weapons and shields and stuff from video games? It's like a, like, he's like an armor or something? Mm -hmm. And he actually made, um, the, the Buster Sword from Final Fantasy VII, and it was just, like, insanely heavy. It was like, yeah, sure, you could, you could, you know, raise it and you could hit someone with it, provided all you want to do is drop it on them. Because it's just so heavy that there's no, there's no managing it. Mm. I need to apologize to my Griffball teammates right now. I'm updating the Indiegogo campaign. Everything cool? <sighs> it's cool. Just trying to do like four things at once. Hup, you know how hup, that goes? Hup, hup. Yep. Yeah. So it's just. Oh, this looks bad. Huh. Fuck. That's my dog game. What about it? Here's a question. When you play a game, do you always play do you prefer to play on like a hard mode or easy mode? Uh, if I'm going for achievements, I always play through on easy first, and then play through on... I, I just play easy first now in general, because if I want to blaze through and I want to get the storyline done quickly, I find if I play on, like, normal or whatever, it's just, like, even the slowdown of dying once or twice kind of takes away from the overall experience of playing through the game. And then I play through it again on the hardest level, once, once I know how to play it. How about you? What do you guys do? I default to easy. I used to default to hard. <laughs> But it's that same sort of thing where a lot of times I'm playing it through, like, for the experience, for the story, whatever. Mm -hmm. And setting it to what feels, like, artificially hard just takes the fun out of it. I, uh, can't remove the perk and add a new one. Cool. Who is? Risinger. Good deal. I need someone to play with on the couch. You know what I mean. Well, Don't look at me like that. Fuck. Guys, I'm sorry, no, I have to step away. Not, I'm, That's cool. Not, not judging, just, you know. Can you help, Brent? I had no idea. No, no, no. <sighs> uh oh. Shit. See, outside of this box, there's no one. Oh. I'm not in the oh, box fuck. anymore. <laughs> <sighs> well. Oh, man, my back just did some nice loud I heard. I think I heard that. <laughs> This must be so frustrating for everybody watching, because I can't figure out what to do. You're dying a lot, and I'm killing the same thing over and over and over. Eh? We chose some really stream-friendly games. Yep. The oh. alternate is, um, I'm thinking of a little bit later, I might switch over Shit. to Kingdoms of Amalur. I'm still trying to finish that, that game. I've been playing it for like two years now, and I'm like right towards the end, and I'll go through, and I'll do like a spree of playing, and then I'll stop because I like don't want to finish it, and then like not have any more of it to play. I feel you. Oh, there's something over here. Mm -hmm. No, no, no! <laughs> and you guys can't hear the games. Nope. Nope. Whose fault is that? That's okay. All, right now, Wait. all you need to know is that Lightning and Shout is saying things like, do you know what death is? Wait, are over you insinuating? And over and over again. What? Sorry, I was... Was I supposed to get headphones? No, I'm just kidding. All right, because I won't. No, because still. then we wouldn't be talking to the stream. What's the point of that? Wow. Wee. Jump. 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 I think Jump. I heard John. Jump. Jump. I heard his battle cry. Ta -ta. Or maybe I just heard someone else. Come on! How come this isn't working? Fucking. So what? What level are you on, Barbara? Are I you... don't even know. I'm on the level that fucking fucks you in the ass. Would you say you're level 55? Uh, level 80? Get. How come this isn't working? I'm gonna look at Twitter, see if anybody is <laughs> yelling at me. They probably are. The obvious answer. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Apparently, a lot of people are finding that cat keyboard. Yeah. It is a for sale at uh, Target, I believe. I was about to say Zellers. Oops. What's Zellers? It's like the Canadian version of Target. <laughs> is it it's also a like cooch tard? No, it's not a cooch tard. What's a cooch tard? That's a, br that's a store chain, right? It's like, um, what are they called? They're like convenience stores. Convenience stores, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. There you go down to the cooch tard and you get your, you know. You get your cooch on. Yeah. Nope, I, I don't know that, but I'll take your word for it. Hmm. I am now looking at Twitter for anybody who is answering on how to do this. So far, nobody's telling me. Someone so, says maybe they're just really enjoying like watching you, the you know the internal struggle. <laughs> maybe. All right, I'm gonna keep struggling internally and externally. Okay. Can't quit Someone says I often forget that Ashley has her nose pierced. You have your nose pierced? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, for like nine years. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. What are the problems with that? I imagine I'm that there's when like... When you have allergies, I imagine it's not so fun. Yeah, because it's like well, another... But I don't have allergies. Don't you don't have allergies? No. Oh. I'm told that I might develop cedar allergies, so I've been... Um, Brittany's actually uh, got me drinking my coffee with local honey. That's the, the, I th cause oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the theory behind that being that the local honey will have some traces the of the pollen in it. Yeah. And I will inoculate myself kind of like uh, <laughs> kind of like Wesley did in uh, in the Princess Bride where he inoculated himself against Iocane powder. Yes. The poison. Yes. Huh. Oh, my God. Put some honey on your nose ring, too, before you go to sleep. You just like breathe in the honey. Oh. Right. I'll skip. Oh. Maybe if I go right to the fuck. Fuck! <laughs> John just texted me a picture of his cat piano, and it's the exact same one. Also, I'm going swimming today. Apparently. That's what John said? No. I am, because I keep falling in this fucking water. <laughs> uh, <good>. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so far, okay, there is some advice on how you can beat this level. It says, keep jumping and jump better. Keep jumping and jump better. Mm -hmm. You and just have to not suck. Thanks, asshole. God. All right. Get for Mother Russia. Shit. <laughs> hey, the Russian Federation's only donated $5. That's not true. They donated at least 10 How? How's that? People in, what? What, how, what do you mean, how is that? Wait, last I checked, it was only $5. Well, no, someone donated. someone from Russia definitely told us that they donated at least 10 Really? It was just showing up differently. Oh. I cool. guess the Russian Federation is different You need to from jump better, and you need to do the thing with the thing. Oh, you need to want it thing. more. Um, See, and, not, oh, here's one that's actually helpful. On the right, after the blocks disappear, hit the fire block, then up on the left, grab the bars. Yes, that is what I'm trying to do. But it, oh, okay. <laughs> it just, yeah, the. And also jump into the gaps, not into the lava thing. Into the gaps? Yeah, I don't know what, I have no idea. I'm just, I'm relating the expertise here. You asked for it. Ugh! I was close that time. <laughs> is that lava or is it quicksand? That's lava. Is it lava? Th this block is hot. It's supposed to be hot. Uh, you just have to not suck? <laughs> yeah. So, so we got some we got some helpful ones here. Thanks, assholes. Lots of helpful ones. You guys are great. Uh, pressing the big red button. What? Oh, here's another helpful one. Jump as the jump <laughs> as the blocks appear, oh. but don't let the lava block bounce you away. Oh, okay. So I have to jump kind of as they're going to reappear. I think is what the thing is. Like, nope, that's not it. I apologize for everybody watching this right now. Nope. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Hashtag Barbara will never beat this level. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> you have to jump up and get stuck in the boxes, then jump when they vanish. Okay, I'm trying. I need to like time it better. Okay. 
had to go repair some of that stuff, but we're all good now. It's okay, we're having a lot of fun uh, not helping Barbara very well. Uh. <coughs> Barbara, you. Bless you. The, uh, the noises that you make are amazing. <laughs> I've been told. She hears that a lot. You guys made it weird. I was just regular before. All right, guys. I am jumping back in on Halo 4. I'm going to jump into... What the heck is heavies? I haven't played that one yet. Oh, it's got a little things. I'm going to jump in and play some... Uh, they say don't uh, double jump that fast. Okay. Um, just gonna keep I think what I'm going to do. Myself. I am going to drop into the, the hopper that has the least amount of people, just so it's more likely that I can play with people watching the stream. I'm going to drop, drop into Proving Ground on Halo 4. That's what I'm going to play. And my gamer tag is Bernie Burns. Nope. It is, though. <laughs> oh, I have a party. Yeah, look what you did. You did a thing. Guys, I can play. <gasps> I, oh. Guys, I can play in the party like one time, but then I, I got to like break off and go play with other people. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Although I do appreciate you guys helping me get the Terramorphous achievement. <laughs> Austin and Lauren and Zuckel. Zuckel. Now what? Now oh, because now the button's pushed down. Yes. Okay. Okay, well, that's okay. I could die a billion times in this game, doesn't matter. <laughs> now I Kinda can matters. go like this. Check fucking point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Victory dance. All right, we're in Proving Ground in War Games on Halo 4. I just love doing that with this character. Uh, a bunch of people just joined. Okay, here we go. You playing Halos? The game type I was thinking of was Flood, by the way. Is it just called Flood? Yeah. I mean, you become a Flood. Yeah. I thought it was called Infection. The actual My game remember. type is called... Fair enough. Let's see. Meow. My Halo level is embarrassing. I'm 40. I'm literally like 60 levels behind everybody else in the lobby. That's eh, not so good. It's not so good. Thanks for all your help, Twitter. And for making fun of me. I play with Jack Nicholson. That's a quite an honor. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna play some Halo with you, just this once. That Can wasn't very snort? good, Nicholson. No, a little bit maybe. Maybe a little bit. Tiny <laughs> little bit. Patrick cuts to me when I say something really bad, <gasps> and then I'll look at the screen really sad, and then he'll switch away. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking die. I turned up my volume a little bit. They're probably gonna matter if you're doing He doesn't this. know my reactions. Die, cat. Shove. Okay, Patrick, do you want to replay the uh, the backer call at about uh? I want to do it at about an hour from now at four thirty. Sure. That makes sense. Sure. Because I think we'll have people, new people, join the the stream who haven't seen it yet, okay. and they get information about the. Fuck. Concept of the thing and everything else. Okay. I, got, I, I got one loadout I can choose from. I got a battle rifle and that's it. Dude, that's the best one. It's really not the best one. Not, not for me at least. Oh, you sons of bitches. Look at this fucker. What do you do? Go away. Go With away. that little muskrat. What if I hide here? Go away. Oh, man. It took a long time for my shield to come back up. He's crazy. You know what game would theoretically be good to play on a stream, but I would never do it? What's that? Brothers. What would be, why would that be good and why wouldn't you do it? Um, it would be good because it's a short game, it's like two to three hours, so you could play through the entirety of the game while on a stream. I think everyone's better at Halo than me. Yeah. I don't <laughs> like doing that. I don't like playing through an entire game on a, on a, on a, like a stream. Why? I don't know, I don't know why. What's the downside, You don't Burns? want people to root for the end, the end of the game? It's exciting. There's stakes. I just I, you, you can go through the emotional explain, I think, ups and downs together. I think that's the kind of thing that, that developers in particular like react very negatively to. That's true, but like, like if you played Gone Home the whole way through, I could you know I could see where someone would be like that's just watching someone else play it is unto itself a complete experience. Not all games are like that, but uh, some of them are. And I think Brothers might be one of those ones that if I watch somebody else play through the whole thing, oh, I got assassinated. You did. I, I'm just I'm going into these going into these hoppers is like having a target on my back. Oh, that's embarrassing. Look at that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you know, but I think that's one of those things. I just I just wouldn't I wouldn't do it. I oh yeah, it. finally, another Oof, pink dickhead man. I get to beat. Look at this guy. 
you say a Dear pink Lord, dickhead? they got us destroyed here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this guy. And then the the, the thing that one. I actually really like about this game is that there's when you get these to these pink ones, that means it's the last one in the world. And after that, these jerks are extinct. I am helping to completely upset. Uh, you're, you're ridding the world of pink dicks. Yeah, they got me. Pink dicks. Yeah, I'm ridding the world of pink dicks. All right. <laughs> one monster at a time. Hmm. For great justice. I'm on a lousy team. From what I can tell, no one on my team has any points. You're lousy. You're enjoying the right I level I don't think team. I've ever been shut out on a team level before. I mean, and you're playing at a level 30, and they're at like 100. Ah, oh, damn it. No, I'm at level 30. They're, everyone else is at level 100. That's what I'm saying. Including my teammates. Oh. So we should be doing a little better than what we are. But this is like pure lousy. Good lord. Come on. You can't even hear yourself Come die. On. What's that? You can't even hear yourself die. You don't get the you don't get any of the I got sound here. What you do? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Oh. Not much. I turned it like just slightly on. I can like almost like feel it more than I can hear it. Kind of a thing. <laughs> I can feel the game. I feel it in my bones. I would love to kill work. one person. Yeah. One person on my team has any points. We just like ran into like some kind of like clan online. How the fuck did look? <sighs> yeah, this game's pretty frustrating. This is a lot, this is a lot different than our Borderlands experience together. Borderlands, it was like instantaneously killing Terramor. What the hell am I on here? Terramorphous. Yeah, that was like who one shotted that guy? That was impressive. Got somebody, finally, for Christ's sake. I'm sorry. Christ. Yeah. Do you get to play Halo that often anymore, Bernie? No, I haven't played much Halo since probably 3, was when I was at the height of, like, playing. I had about, um, Joel and Gavin played the most games in Halo 2, I think they each played about 5,500 matches, oh. and I was at about, uh, God, what was I on there? I was probably about 3,000. I just saw a scatter shot. Where'd wow. it go? Wow. Was... Wow. Well, I got him. He got me, too. When, uh, what were we at last time you checked? Well, I'm leading my team. That is really embarrassing. I should get my laptop. You guys are busy. We're doing Maybe you should get up business. and do a dance. <laughs> we got a dance. Scored. My team got outscored ten to one. Ten to one. So you, and had, I was you the, had the point. I was the leader. <laughs> I was the leader on my team with two kills. Nice. We're that at. was uh, that was a good showing with my Borderlands group. We're at one point five two seven. Whoa. We one point five two seven. We're twenty one thousand backers. Like this. Like this. Let's go. Uh, so a lot uh, of people. A lot of people have contributed. Uh, I'm gonna do it too. I'm in. I'm in. I got it. Feels good. So, uh, I like cherry dancing. just a reminder, yes. if anyone's tuning in a little bit later, in about an hour, we're going to show the live stream that we showed on Tuesday. Uh, it's about uh, 40 minutes long. It explains some of the plot of Laser Team. 40? Uh, isn't it? It's about 25. 25. Oh, 25 God, it seemed like a lot longer. Sorry, they're, they're telling me it's about 25 <laughs> minutes long. 25 That's right. 30. And uh, we're going to show that. Hold on, I'm going to back out, guys, so I can play with some more people. Oh, it looks like my, no, it looks like they did that for me. You guys were nice. They just kicked you out. No, I think they, like, put their tail between their legs. And he was, was like, too successful with his two <laughs> kills. <laughs> shitty team that I was on. I, listen, I'm shitty at Halo, and so if, if, if I was the strong one on that team, that's, that's bad news. I'm usually, like, the solid-ass anchor on every team that I'm on. <laughs> solid-ass so anchor. I, that's why I came up with Griffball, is because I can't play Halo. <laughs> but Twitter suggests you make yourself useful and just read stuff from Twitter. Really? <laughs> Me? No, Aaron. Oh, Aaron. <laughs> I mean, I am I really knows, useless right now. I don't think he knows how to use Twitter. I oh, look, it's JJ. don't really know how to use Twitter. Hi, JJ. Hey, JJ, what's up, man? Hey, Where'd you just get back from? Uh, Why don't you come in and join us? I just got back from Salt Lake City. How are the, like, 10 p.m. last calls? That, you know that? what? Yeah, I was what actually super surprised by how cool it was. Like, it was really pretty, and the youth scene's cool. And I went to this bar. The mountains was, are nice. 
Yeah, dude. I mean, it's really nice to look at. Um, I don't actually, <laughs> right, no. so you have lots, and you have lots of time to just look at the pretty mountains. Yeah, I went to this bar that was uh, like a bar hot dog kind of brats restaurant, and I learned bar uh, hot dog. <laughs> Wait, yeah. that's a thing. <laughs> we so, had, it had a hot really... dogs in a bowl that you just take. <laughs> yeah, out. it's totally. All those kind of like hot dog bars you go to. It's like <laughs> one of those. You know. It was super cool. It was called. It had like a really uh, clever name. It was called Beer Bar. <laughs> it's like Beer Bar. Beer Bar is a great name. But it's owned by Ty Burrell from Modern Family, the guy that plays Seriously? the dad. Really? I love yeah. Ty Burrell. Apparently that guy. he's from Salt Lake and he's like really big about giving back. Well, that's how he he manages to like really nail that dad role for Modern Family. <laughs> well, you like, know that's that, like straight up Utah a, dad. Are these bad guys? Yeah. What the hell? They started me next to enemies. I was like, <laughs> these are red dots. Uh, you know, that's the first time in Modern Family, Ty Burrell. That was like one of the first times he played a decent guy. He was well, always he, a bad guy. He, he's always that, played right? kind of a, a douche. Uh, mainly a douche. Yeah. He but, was in Black Hawk Down. I didn't know that. He was in uh, the Dawn of the Dead remake. Yeah, and then he was also in, what movie? He was in some awful movie. Harrison Ford was like a news anchor. Oh, no, I love Morning Glory. Yeah. No, I love that movie. I mean, you wouldn't like Fucker. it. It's a terrible movie, it's a, it's but like, I really enjoy it. It's like a Romance. Who's the girl in that movie? Um, the, she Rachel McAdams. She, she likes Patrick, the how are you not ah. on my screen the, when that the, just the happened? She plastics for, um, uh, Rachel what's the thing? Rachel the Mean McAdams, Girls. Yeah. Rachel McAdams, yeah. Yeah, but he plays like the like douchey like, like, news anchor she's guy. She's awesome. But yeah, so he's done well for himself. Oh yeah, he's apparently. like the from like the the Big Shot Network, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why didn't you tell me about fry sauce? I didn't know this was a thing. Oh my god, you, that's right. You wouldn't know about fry sauce. D fry it, sauce is this like this very oh, like ubiquitous duck. Utah thing. It's super. It's a, yeah, it's, it's also, everywhere. You can't go anywhere without also, fry sauce. Also, it's really easy to make. Do you know what it is? It's, it's just mayonnaise, mayonnaise and ketchup. Ketchup. No, there's a secret. That sounds terrible. A little bit Sugar. A little bit of pickle juice. Really? Little, just like just like this just much a pickle juice. little bit. That's the worst secret ever. Yeah. Now it's out. <laughs> but yeah, everywhere has it. This lady at the bar, she was like, it's just mayonnaise and ketchup. I was like, isn't that like fancy sauce from Step Brothers? It's the same thing. Like, I mean, yeah, but I'm pretty sure that Step Brothers totally stole it from Utah. Yeah, well, it's really weird. Is like, okay, so Utah has fancy sauce. And then in New York no, when no, I was there. No, no, fry sauce. I didn't know we were sauce, playing oddball until just now. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, Let's sorry. Let's be clear. Well, I realize in New York at every pizzeria they have like instead of just the sh the pepper and Parmesan shakers, they also have garlic shakers. And I'm like, I don't know why that's not just a thing everywhere. It's cool. like yeah. it's be. like delicious. Do, do do they not have that at every pizza place? No, I mean in here in Texas or in all over America, like in LA they don't have it. Like you know they just have the p Parmesan You're and the pepper. You're making me really hungry talking. About <laughs> <that. No. laughs> I'm like really hungry now. Super hungry. That's how it's the donuts place. are not. We're here about lunch. Sufficing. Oh, that guy was. That's inappropriate to attack somebody on that level. Whoever did that to me. You're a terrible person. So I heard oh, that uh, I heard that Matt was kind of talking about the Docker, like one of our one of our gardens kind of tweeted about it. Yeah, that, one of our one of our uh, helpers. Because uh... I was gonna try to like say. Oh, that was bullshit. That guy lagged down on me. I was oh, gonna try to say ball. like uh, we'll we'll give away the details if someone does something cool or something or like you know. Yeah, somebody one of our people who works on projects with us. Oh, that was awesome. One of our oh one of our people who works on projects with us revealed what you were doing. Uh, I don't think he knew that it was a secret. Super he just, secret. He just wrote about it. Super on Twitter. secret. Nice. Uh, yeah, that, that happens. Damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, for everyone who's wondering why I'm traveling the nation, I've got one more spot. I won't reveal where I'm going next week. But uh, yeah, we're doing a doc kind of about the fans. Um, um, about the fans for the fans. About the fans for the fans. The about, there you go. About some of the most interesting. Cool stories of Jay, people. JJ, you've been wanting to work on this thing for a while. You've been pitching it for a while. Like. Yeah. Um, you know, it, I want to say I was like, I was kind of doing detective work for the last year. Like, I'd hang out in the chat. I'd, I, you know, I'd kind of like snoop around Tumblr. He'd, he'd, he'd wear a fedora and, a, yeah. and like an overcoat grew, and just do this. I grew a neck beard and I uh, hung out in certain, certain circles. He, he drank a lot for a little while. <laughs> I lived in my mom's basement for a while. But no, I'm kidding. That's a that's a total stereotype that we should we should really move away from. Wait, I don't understand. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand what stereotype were you doing? I was going after like the whole like detective. She thing. was doing detective, and you were doing uh, like internet person, stereotypical yeah. internet person. Which isn't that like uh, when they did the last uh, video game awards? Isn't that what like Joel McHale got a bunch of shit for for like, Yeah, he should have too. Yeah, just stereotyping totally uh, the nerd culture. But uh, yeah, no. So um, I just kind of like spent a lot of time on 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 our chat and on the website and got to know our fans really Fuck. well and started to kind of like. Cherry picking people that had really, really awesome Pretty stories. Pretty cool people, huh? Really cool people. That's They're the a, best. Yeah, our fans are. We have one of the coolest, easily one of the coolest communities, if not the coolest. When JJ pitched it, he wanted to focus specifically on the dedication of of the fans, like the like people who are really dedicated to online properties, and not even really necessarily Rooster Teeth was one of the things, but just like people who are just like uber fans of stuff, you know. And we just happened to know that we could like talk to Rooster Teeth fans because. They like our stuff, and we assume they want to be in a video. Oh, go get him! Go get him! Yeah, just, just like the internet <laughs> in general, because it's get such him. a 
it's such a broad sweeping thing the internet uh but it's got good stories crazy stories really just kind of like no way stories which is always fun but uh yeah it's uh it's been really interesting, and, it, and the thing about docs is it's a it's like a living, breathing thing. Like you know, it it changes. That guy's bopping all over the place. It changes while you're doing it. What are you guys playing? Halo. I'm 4? playing Halo Four. He's She's playing not. A Battle Block Theater, and I'm playing Final Fantasy. <laughs> so you guys are all playing different games. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. But it's okay. We're talking to each other like we're not. <laughs> we're all watching Barb like be bad at Battle Block. We're watching me be what? bad at Halo. So it's all t- it's all a theme. We're all just bad. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that, how- that, that trick totally worked on me. They threw the ball away, and I chased it like a, like a chump. <laughs> like I was a, like, there it is. It's like, get the ball. Go get it. Yeah, it was. I totally did. How's the laser stream gone today? Oh, so far, so good. We uh, uh, we we passed a couple of records. See, uh, JJ's a film guy, so you'll be happy to know that one of the things we revealed today is our stretch goal for a uh, film and TV podcast. Whoa, awesome. So that'll be really cool. That'd be cool, man. I bet you would like that a lot. Yeah, I would definitely like that. But today we crossed over a couple big milestones. Uh, We surpassed... No one can see see me grabbing your thigh. (laughs) Yeah, they can. It's in their heads. It's it's already on Tumblr. It's out in their dreams. uh, We passed uh, Will Wheaton's... uh, The amount that he... <laughs> um, was able to raise for tabletop. That's awesome. That's how we started the day. Then we uh, passed right after that the amount that Spike Lee had raised for his film, uh, and then we passed another film which was one of the top films and put us in the top five now of the the top five uh, highest funded crowdfunded films. Oh man, and I'm yeah. sure we're gonna beat that one. I mean, we're in a pretty good place right now. Yeah, that, that's awesome. So yeah. it's really cool. And uh, so the next the biggest big milestone that we have. Is uh, we have a 1.625 goal to get to um, uh, the next stretch goal, which is the TV and film podcast, and then after is that, is that like a permanent podcast or just like that's going to we're going to test it and see. So we're going to like produce like a few episodes. This is the same thing we've done with everything with the stretch goals. We didn't want to make the campaign be such that like we'd be bogged down with stuff forever and ever. I mean, the goal of the campaign is to make a cool movie, and so if we just had a bunch of stretch goals that kept us busy for the next two years, that would not be what we want to do. Nice. We were. We were pretty measured about the way that we structured the campaign. I mean, everything makes a lot of sense. Um, like, even if you look at the tiers at which the way the merch kind of escalates, it escalates in a, in a very precise manner. And that's because we figure if people back the uh, – oh, you bastard. If people are backing the uh, crowdfunding campaign, they want to see the movie get made more than anything else. Yeah. More than, you know, even the merch and stuff like that and the cool perks that we figure that the most important thing is that we make an awesome movie. That is the point of – what are these? Oh, I got defeated. I don't know. Uh, that was the point of the crowdfunding campaign. Very cool. I felt pretty good about the way I did, but our team fucking just, <laughs> we, we lost. Are we you get... playing online right now? Yeah. That's cool. That was, I did okay. I think. And you guys know Wheaton, right? You guys know Will Wheaton to an extent? Yeah. Yeah. I know um, uh, we were part of Wootstock one year. In fact, oh, we, nice. we, the, when they came through Wootstock with, uh, with Paul and Storm and Adam Savage from Mythbusters. Yeah. Will Wheaton actually couldn't be at the Austin show, so they asked us to come and we replaced Will Wheaton for that for that uh, show. Oh, very cool. Yeah. But we were talking today, too. Like, I was trying to explain to people that all these, like, records and all that other stuff, really what that amounts to at the end of the day is just more promotion, and that's such a big part of making movies, right? Mm-hmm. Is promoting it and getting totally. it out there. I mean, half, like, most of the budgets on movies, like... I mean, Jesus, like, look at Edge of Tomorrow. Their, like, their promotion was, like, they spent, like, at least, like, Jesus, like, 50-something million or something. Like, it was everywhere. Yeah. Did you see that? Uh, you know, I, I, everyone's talking about it. You see it. <laughs> <laughs> look at Blaine. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Did you see it? <laughs> what are these? Saw it by himself. Those are challenge coins. And so that was given to me by uh, the director of Iron Man. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. You're talking about Favreau? Hey, yeah. And then uh, he gave it to me. It's yeah. the luck dragon. All, all the tension with your puppy. <sighs> And so go. that, Ass. hey, what's up, Rice? Ass is in my face. <laughs> so John Reisinger's here, and he is the gentleman who did the concept art for the challenge coin bada, bada, bada. that we unveiled today. He also yeah. did bada, all bada, the bada, art. Bada, 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 bada. Where'd they go? We just I don't know. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> well, Bella's in a They're boot. behind your ear. Bella's oh. going nuts. Oh, that's, oh, okay. Oh, so these are things, yeah, these are all, like, Chef and Iron Man 2 and stuff. Yeah, there's a like Cowboys oh, and Heroes one, too. You know Favreau? Yeah. What's they, that? Yeah, you know Favreau? Favreau? Yes. Can I get his number? What's that? Yeah, <laughs> you got it. One time I was at a party with Bill Pullman, uh, and uh, it was like he was doing some stuff at the draft house, and it was really late, and everyone, and Rizzo was there. It was like 3 o'clock, and Stephen F. Austin. I'm back I, in Proving Grounds, by the way. And everyone was pretty tipsy. Everyone says that's a hyper-competitive list, Ooh. by the way. What? It is? I'm getting out of it. So what? Oh. 
<laughs> they, they say mic. that's why you're doing so poorly. Oh. Is like that's the hyper no, you know, I that's a really baseballs, nice thing to say. That's none not... of these kids know what space okay. balls. Space balls, the space shorts. Balls. Well, that's the thing is, I was trying to get Bill Pullman, like a kind of tipsy Bill Pullman, space to call balls. Mel Brooks at three o'clock in the morning. Out. I was like, "You've got Mel Brooks's number." I called him. He's like, "Oh yeah, I've got it." And about halfway through, he's like, "Oh, no, it's really honey. late." Oh. And I was like, "That would have been hilarious." Guys, one second, I'm gonna tell the audience that I'm gonna jump into flat flab. Flag grab bag. <laughs> Flag grab bag. There's 290 people in there right now. It's five on five, so we'll be able to play with more people. So go to flag grab bag and give <laughs> Reisinger a big hug. Hey, guys, what's up? A lot of people show up all of a sudden. Aren't you guys precious? Yeah. Mel Brooks' episode of uh, Comedians with Coffee was a really good episode. Have you seen Comedians with Coffee? You like Comedians with Coffee? I love Comedians with Coffee. Yeah. Is that, well, that's Comedians in Comedians in Cars car? with Coffee. Yeah. Comedians and Cars with getting Seinfeld. coffee. Does that Whatever. air on TV or is that just what? It's a Crackle it? series. Ah, yeah. uh, yeah. well, Crackle. Cool crackle. He did it with uh, <laughs> the Mel Brooks episode was with uh, Reiner. Was that who else it was with? Like Mel Brooks and Reiner. Like, Rob Reiner or Carl Reiner? Carl Reiner. Wow. They're like, they, they, they basically eat like dinner on TV trays every single night and watch <laughs> old movies. Like them, just the two of them. Is that true? Yeah. Uh, Jerry goes with Mel to the house and like just hangs out with them. It's pretty is awesome. Carl Reiner still alive? He was during the it, filming of that. Apparently, he was. Um, was. Comedian was he cars getting coffee. Paul Reiner confirmed alive a year ago. That's funny. But I was saying today, so like when we pass the Will Wheaton thing, I mean, we know Will Wheaton. It's not like, yeah, a, yeah. you know, screw like you guys. It. But it's kind of one of those things, like, even after the fact, like, Will Wheaton's campaign closed a few months ago, but just by the fact that, like, other campaigns come along at some point in the future and it's relevant because we come up against them on the list, then we talk about Will Wheaton's thing. It's just further promotion for Will Wheaton's thing. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a, it's like a given circle, like pay yeah. forward kind of thing. So exactly right. And so like down the road when somebody's passing us, that'll they'll, br be, they'll bring it up again. They'll bring it up. It'll be a sad Very, day, but at the same no time... No going to pass us. <laughs> <laughs> come on. But uh, come they'll, on. it'll be a sad day, but then at the same time, people, awesome. people will be talking about the well, Laser Team project. Well, well, the reason I was bringing up Wheaton <laughs> is because back when we were doing the best of, the best of Rooster Teeth shorts, Matt... <laughs> As you guys know, if you've ever worked with Matt, he's always riffing. Like, he's always just coming up with different <laughs> versions of jokes. So he had this whole, I think it was the, the, the I prank. I walked off a ledge right away. It was like Thank the one God where he gets, the way, um, Matt gets arrested. By the way, right? Bella just cleaned up all the donut frosting that yeah. somebody <laughs> definitely not Good Barbara girl. That's why I brought it for her. cannot be held up. responsible. Nice. I was going to be shitting everywhere in a second. So, uh, just so you know. Yeah. I guess it's been that. an ongoing joke Thank that Matt you. Will Wheaton look alike. That's like that was the joke. Oh yeah, that's a Will Wheaton look alike. Yeah, he yeah. Made, he made this. He gets joke. that a lot. <laughs> it, we didn't use it in the DVD, but it was it was one of the outtakes that we really almost used. It was really funny. You were saying that about Jonah Hill and you yesterday, and I didn't believe it until you showed me a picture. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I exist on the spectrum that includes Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen. Gerard Butler and Lee Schreiber. I'm like somewhere depending on where I am in my fitness. <laughs> I'd take Gerard Butler and Lee Schreiber. Those are cool guys. I'm, I'm somewhere in there. Oh wow! Someone oh, yeah, wants I a promotion. I, I can see. <laughs> no, I'm just saying Gerard Butler. He's well, the that, king. He's dreamy, right? Unitas. <laughs> that was the king. That was like the the greatest experience I had at South by Southwest was when I got to interview Shaq, and he looks at me and goes, "You look like that guy," <laughs> and I said, "Who?" I said, "I said yeah." He goes, "You're that actor guy. You look like him." And I said, "What guy?" I said, "The guy from." Uh, I said, Seth Rogen? And he goes, no, dude, the, the dude from 300. <laughs> and I go, you're my best friend. He goes, I get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he pumped up his chest. Fucking. Shaq is the biggest man on the planet, was by Shaq, the way. I don't know. There's nothing even close to him. Was he actually like this? He's like, you look like that guy here. That's exactly what he was like. That's a perfect impression of him. Oh, come here, you bastard. Every time they keep cutting to, to the shot of you guys playing, I think Barb needs a booster seat. I'm track. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she just needs better posture. I like, oh, we can see oh. Bernie. I actually went and got one of the cushions seat. we use on the patch. Can I say in Halo, the weapon that I'm probably the worst with, I get a lot of flack for being shitty with the sniper rifle, and I am shitty with the sniper rifle. I'm way worse with the shotgun. I am lousy with the shotgun. You're lousy. Lousy. Matt Holm is lurking in the back. No, no, it's Will Wheaton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is Will Wheaton, everybody. Don't, hey, I'm upset with you guys for passing the I'm upset. Whoa, it's, don't like, pass it's my like he's really there. I'm going to go talk bad about you on the blog. <laughs> on a blog. I'm going to do it. Just, you know, do you know if you search my name? On Google, don't. I, this is the worst because now it's going to happen more. <laughs> <laughs> if you search my name on Google image search, you get Will Wheaton. <laughs> no, it's true. We actually had. To such a degree that there have been articles that have come out that have mentioned 
you know, Bernie and Matt of Rooster Teeth and have a picture of Bernie, and next to him is Will Wheaton. <laughs> it's very true. Somebody put together a PR was group. Photoshop. That was just cruel. <laughs> <laughs> a PR group put together uh, a pamphlet, like, information about Rooster Teeth to send out, and Matt's picture was a picture. They put a picture of Will Wheaton in there. Yeah. They really they did. Me. They've met me. Yeah, they know him personally. And, they, and I said, did you put Will Wheaton in there? And they're like, no, that's you. That's definitely you. I loved you in Stand By Me. You were great. I was. Dude, your show was. Really what's was, what's Kiefer like? Pie, <laughs> These kids don't get that reference, which is too bad. What, the uh, Stand By Me Kiefer Sutherland reference? That was a pie reference. Oh. Well, all of it, yeah. Good movie. Man, I, uh, that's a, that's a great book. That, that oh, it's book, got the body, right? Or it's a short, is it? Is four, it a, yeah, Rob Reiner directed it, right? Yeah, Four Seasons is the Stephen King book. It's got four stories in it. Mm. One of them is The Body, <laughs> and the other is a little story called Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. And that's in the same novella. <laughs> Unless I'm misremembering. I used to read a ton of Stephen King as a kid. I read that like Reiner yelled at them all. Like They didn't show him the body before they filmed that scene, and then he yelled at them, like yelled at them really intensely so they would cry in that scene. Wow. That's illegal to do with kids. Well, no. I mean, it was like the 80s. <laughs> yeah, this was, that's, was, this was before laws. 